Welcome back to the Hour Time Podcast, the podcast for Watch Geeks by Watch Geeks. I'm John Biggs. I'm Victor Marks. I'm Nicholas DeLeon. And today on the show, we're talking about the benefits of joining the Navy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nicholas, at some point, wanted to join the Navy. I believe we talked him out of it by just giving him a better job. Now, would you have stayed in, would you enjoy the Navy? I don't, I'm not sure if you would have. I think I would have loved it. For, this is 2010, I want to say. I still have the emails from the uh, officer I was speaking with. The recruiter. Uh, I came very close, very, very close. It was officer, whatever, whatever the officer program was. Uh, it sounds very fancy, but basically you just needed a college degree. And they said, okay, come aboard. Welcome aboard, sailor. That's basically – uh, how it worked back then. Now it's probably even easier, actually. Yeah. Uh, hey, so my uncle was a uh, captain in the Navy, and he, in high school, really? I was getting hassled by the uh, the recruiters. They were, you know, they were chasing me, kind of thing, calling me to the house, and and I mentioned to my yes. uncle that that I was getting a lot of calls from these recruiters, and what was that about? And all of a sudden, the recruiters like. Instead of when everyone would come around, they would you know chase me. They turned around and walked the other direction. So they they got a call um, from my uncle, the captain, and, and were told in no oh certain terms to leave me alone. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So he was like, he, well, he, 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 clearly, I was not Navy material. <laughs> well, no, no, maybe maybe there was something he wanted to protect you from. Maybe the Navy has discovered yeah, like an alien race that lives mm. under the sea, and he didn't want you to be all caught up in that that whole liquid water that kind stuff. of thing. You don't want yeah. No, yeah, you don't want no part it's like of the this, X-Files. Victor. The abyss. All right. So speaking of the Navy, we have the Graham Fortress Green. Did we see this watch yet? Show me yes. this watch. Where's, where's this so watch? It's a big... <laughs> it's, on the, it's on the site. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Just, do, do you, have, you have to read the site to get I more do read the site. What? The site. I was actually Come posting on. to the site, if you can imagine. Yeah. Oh. Really? So it's I, a I mono pusher. It's a mono pusher Graham. It's got a, it's got a huge face. Oh, I it's saw like this. Yeah, millimeters. with that giant onion crown yeah. on it, right? Yeah, it's got a big old onion crown, and it's got a mono pusher there. It's got it's basically has a seconds, a seconds countdown, and it looks like it's also got a thirty minute countdown. Yeah. So you don't really have a, you have a small seconds display at three o'clock and a chronograph register at six o'clock. There's not an hour chronograph register in this case. No. But you basically it's a mono pusher, so you press the button once and then you press it presses it again to like reset it. I like Graham. Graham also has those goofy trigger trigger watches mm-hmm. too, where they have a huge trigger on it. A couple of years but, ago, they did a whole thing with uh, with with pin up nose art kind of thing, like you'd see on old airplanes. Yeah, they were very cool. Graham Graham pulled it off, I think. They 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 came out they came out the other end of like a uh, of of that big watch watch era. So yes. If you look at the vintage Nicholas, the uh, they came out of like the Panerai era. Okay. And I'm lo- like oh my this, god, I'm looking at the vintage right yeah, now. These things are monsters. <laughs> they, they, and they oh, I didn't even notice this. So they have the Chrono Fighter Vintage Gold Emergency Red Edition and and it has a piece of gold inside of it. This is uh yeah. because big boy. It's genuine 1 gram of Grun gram ingot of Swiss gold and it's supply it comes with a hammer and you're supposed to break the glass in case you get like to, to free the gold, uh, you can, you behind, can uh, pay your way lines. out of the country when bad things are going down. Is that it? Really? I guess. The, the, the fascist troops start marching, marching in. You have to release yeah. the gold in order to buy your passage. Yep, exactly. How that, much you know, gram of gold I, So when I was in Israel, I met up with a dude from Romania who I knew 20 years ago. And he showed me a Doxa, an IWC, and a couple of other watches that were all gold watches that were bought specifically for those purposes so that his, his grandparents yeah, yeah, could of pay their way out of, out of uh, Romania. And the IWC mm-hmm. so, had never so been it, worn. It still had tags on it and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So, yeah, and, and who knows how much it's worth. It's probably worth the price of the gold right now at this point. Cause not, yeah, a couple oh, hundred bucks. It depends. The IWC was, like, was worth more because like they're a, an interesting brand. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like Graham, and I think they really kind of like. I think they made they they pulled out of they pulled out of the big watch era pretty well. They survived, and I like the design. It's a big. I've I've worn one of these, and it's a really big and bulky design. It's not definitely not anything oh, that it? you're gonna like. Yeah, it's pretty bulky. You're not, not gonna, slender. I don't. Yeah, this is not this is not for you, Nicholas. What are Graham? Are they British? That sounds like an English name. It's supposed to be British. Yeah, I think they make them in. Where do they make them? 
they're supposed they're supposed to be British and they're supposed to be like uh Oh they say they're in Switzerland. Yeah. I don't know. Like what do we think about this? I mean I I guess my only complaint is it probably just is not gonna work on my wrist. Uh what size big, is it but again? I do like I, I it's like forty two or forty four or something. Forty seven, I think. Okay. That's forty four. Yeah, that's big. It's bold. Forty four is probably even too big. Yeah. Was uh wasn't Chiken didn't Chaikin do Graham or no? That wasn't him. He didn't start Graham, did he? Well, you don't he? know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So we got that. Then we got the twelve by by uh, Christopher Ward. Now I am not a huge CW fan. Really? I don't think I knew that. Yeah, I'm not really. I I'm no, I'm not really into him. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think like this is a so for like a rubber strap. This is nine nine ninety five. It's a three hander. It's pretty pretty nice, but I just don't feel like it's like it gives me very much, especially a three hander like this. This feels so. There's there's a division in Chris Ward, right? There's the old Chris Ward when it was actually Christopher Ward, and then there's this, which is after the original founder left. Yeah, and. This this doesn't really feel like they know what they're doing or why they're doing it, right? It's got a textured dial like a Seiko Presage. It's it's got this weird funky dodecahedral bezel shape that's kind of omega like, yeah. and and I just it, it's not opinionated enough, right? They don't have a direct about yeah, why this had to it. be made. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like nothing about it is it opinionated enough. That's the biggest issue. Like almost all their watches are basically just like they're they just they just exist. Yeah. Uh, they're not they're not in any they're not in any like such they're 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 not they're not defined by anything. They're they're not specifically artistic for any reason. It's just like a it's just a watch. I'm not a fan. I feel like my biggest criticism as as someone with probably the most modest budget uh, on the podcast uh i feel like i could scratch this same itch with like a to sew the prx it you looks can, i mean the integrated bla- bracelet i mean is is what you yeah. the appeal yeah. here to I, to me is like not a new but you know i mean you could you could also you could do it with the agni watch remember the agni watch no, I have no idea. What to Ag- Ag- Agne, Agne, or Agne. Let me find out. Yeah, what the heck? What was that Agne? watch? Agne. 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 Spiro Agnew. I'm feeling the agony. <laughs> Satellite watch. Agne. What, what, well, we were doing this. What watch are you wearing, Nicholas? What do you got on your wrist? I am. Uh, well, for the folks who are going to watch the YouTube version, this is a Orient Star. Uh, I don't know the model number. I got it, I think, on eBay about a year ago. I think I saw it on uh, Watch You Seek. Someone was like, check out this cool watch. I was like, oh, I like that. So just the nice. Orient Star, that's uh, that's today. What about cool. you? Anything interesting? Cool, cool. I, I am wearing a small, smaller chronograph. This is uh, one of China's finest. Nice. It's no name on the dial. It's an Asian 7753. But I just love it. It is 37 millimeters of fun. Okay. 37. Here, let me look at it. I'm, I'm trying to find this watch. I can't find it. I got, I got the Panerai on. Hey. I'm special. Yeah. yeah. It's Man. the daylight. So we're both chronographing I haven't, I haven't, it. Yeah, we're chronographing it. I haven't, I haven't bought an... Well, well, you know what? I always say that I haven't bought a new watch recently, but I did buy a watch. I did buy that Ulysses Nardon. <laughs> and should I buy another one now? Probably not. I should oh, probably I have a not question. Ever. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, well, weren't you, you just the, at Consensus, the big uh, yeah, yeah. Bitcoin thing? Did you see big any Bitcoin fancy show. watches down there? And everybody Austin? wears everybody wears Rolexes in the crypto world. Oh, of course. So Stupid. It question. depends on how early you got into crypto. <laughs> if you got into crypto early, then you wear a Daytona. If you got into a little later, then you're like in a Explorer One. You're not like in a GMT. That's really Explorer. funny. So uh, there's like so a hierarchy. Literally, yeah, there's a super hierarchy. I was going to ask if you pick what up you the wearing? watch for Casper. <laughs> Uh no 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 well, that 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 watch is on its way um oh. the the exp- oh I should I should wear that around to the crypto the crypto heads yeah what oh, I was one. wearing I was wearing a Tudor I was wearing a Tudor uh, what you call it you had the GMT, GMT. The GMT 
So that was my thing. Yeah. So that's what I did in the that's what I did in the Discord. I made a, like a travel thing, so we can write about yes. all our travels yeah. and how we how we've been to different places. Now we also have another room in the Discord called Off Topic, where Nicholas yes. can talk about his pigs. Well, it's it is his feral the, pigs. The initial post was just the other day. They were outside my window here in Tucson. There were these animals called javelinas. They resemble pigs. I believe they're related to uh, deer and un- ungulates or whatever whatever that ungulates. word is. Ungulates. Uh, there was like six or seven of them. There was a lot of them, and they were, I don't know, eating bugs or something. Uh, they are, they are uh, my understanding, they're pretty aggressive, uh, so you don't want to, oh, hello there, Mr. Pig-like animal. Mr. No, Pig animal? They will um, mess you up, so to speak. Uh, so uh, admire them from a distance. But yeah, that's a good time. We have a Discord. I think people know that by now. Uh, we're actually using it. I feel like we're actually using it. Uh, I think kind it's, of it's, a lot. I'm, I'm actually I'm really enjoying it. It's actually yes. a lot of fun. It's uh, who yeah. knew? It's it's nice to, to hang out with your friends on the internet. Uh, yeah, so. well, that's I think isn't that isn't that the point of the internet? So well, good question. So so hang out of the Discord. So the last the last one we should talk about is the Timex eighty yeah T eighty hyperbrights. Oh right, these were so this, the uh, the different strap colors and case. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So these, are, this is basically some cheese ball Timex, straight out of the, straight out of like CVS. Uh, yeah, huh. But it's bright and colorful. Very 1980s. Feel it reminds to me it. of a like sorbet or a, like a sorbet. Yeah, like, or like a sherbet. Sherbet. Get, get some jelly bracelets around bouche. your wrist and uh, and and some neon leg warmers and carry on. Right. Now here's my question. Okay. When you see somebody with a Especially like this gold model, the gold tone. That's the one I wanted, baby. I'm okay. not able to look at pictures here from our site right now, so I don't know why. So whatever, you're, you're yeah. I don't know how your your internet's busted. My, um, my internet's fantastic. Your internet's busted. Yeah, my, my internet's fine. So anyway, so Timex. Do you see somebody wearing like one of those gold gold tone Casios or one of those gold tone cut cu- cu- and and they're kind of stylish uh-huh. and they're kind of influencery? Mm-hmm. Do you? consider them no failed humans yes yes i'm i'm revolted by the gold tone casio i'm i'm sorry i just am um uh i don't know that i've got the gold one i like the orange uh i miss i misunderstood i like the orange one at the top of the top orange of the one in particular that's yeah, fine that one looks awesome yeah i mean i, I actually kind of like these three in a row here up top orange purple the, and blue orange purple and but blue. i would vote for the orange so, but you wouldn't get the gold tone. You wouldn't get the, the gold, gold tone. tone. Doesn't it? Doesn't even feel like the same product. It just, uh, you know, the the product okay. is colorful sherbet, and this gold one seems the gold one and feels not, like not correct. It, it probably fits maybe a a you know don't don't hate me for saying like, this, but a female wrist. Really, that's fine. But look, but maybe. look, this is this is what I'm talking about. This this Macy's this Macy's style one. That's like men's digital vintage gold tone stainless steel bracelet watch. Yeah. yeah, it's got like it's it. When you see this on somebody, you know first off, you know that they're wearing it ironically <laughs> and for fashion reasons. Oh God, no! This, so yeah. this is failed human territory. The- <laughs> this doesn't belong on anyone's wrist. What is this? Yeah, that doesn't belong on anybody's wrist. What is this? It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. I I mean the stainless, the stainless version of this fine this terrible, but there is a reason to get the stainless version of this even if you don't want the digital watch, and that is that the bracelet that goes on these <sighs> fits on the Timex Q. So if you have a Timex Q and you like it but you don't want that old bracelet that they ship on it, you get one of these and then you swap bracelets and now you have an oyster like thing on your Timex Q. I could do that. I'm not going to, but I could. I already did it. It was amazing. Now hold on. Now hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna argue that there's I'm gonna argue another point. Yeah. Now I would say I would say this specific watch, the the Taliban uh, the Taliban terrorist watch, which <laughs> the, is basically just like the standard <laughs> your standard G Shock style. The F ninety one W. That's the uh, the yeah, F ninety one W. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's but actually this, famous. But, but the whole the whole the whole the whole style and the whole movement and everything that's all it's all the same stuff. Yeah. I'm looking at this F. I'm looking at this A one hundred. Which is has four buttons for whatever reason, uh, is really weird, and it's and it's a little. It, see now this this one has this for. I look at the old. I look at those other watches. Yeah. Meh, don't like them. I look at this watch, and I say to myself, "Hey, the person who would wear this watch is an intelligent person." 
I see. Uh, it does have more character. It has more character. Yeah, it's exactly. The, it's got it. Uh, yeah, more texture to it. More. Uh, there's more to it. It's like uh, I'm uh, trying to catch up I here. The, the A100 is the, the, the A100. That's the word I was for. It's got the four buttons below. Play four is that buttons the, on the fr- yeah. That's that's and the then uh, the uh, alien watch. That's the Ripley watch. Yeah, it's the alien watch. But then there's this, which is the A1000, which is Casio A1000. And that immediately turns me off. I'm completely, I'm com- immediately like brought back to the, and you know what? Actually, yeah. you know what? I'm an asshole for saying this because it has the same amount of buttons. It's the same thing, but it just doesn't have the same, it just doesn't have the same, like the, nobody, the, where, the where, people who made the where, A1000. Where the A1000 here? Where is it? This one? It's just a free Casio A1000. Oh, I missed it. It was the watch wind-up Pe- shop. People thing. who made the A100 were thinking. They were thinking, I want to do something unusual. Right. People who made the, the regular ones, these standard ones, they said, we just want to make a, we just make a quartz watch and put it in a case. And we want to go home for lunch. Uh, we don't, not, I'm not saying, we're, yeah, that's basically what they're saying. I don't I would know. co-sign that, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of failed humans, there's there's plenty of going on here, and I'm just yeah, very I'm not angry really with this interested watch. in the A1000. No, you're not. not, and I and I'm also not interested in the T80, the Timex. I understand Nicholas that you like the Sherbert look, uh, but yes, I I as I think you hinted it, it's a fashion accessory. It is not. I'm going yeah. to dinner. It's uh, you know, you're going to swim by the pool dinner. and you want to hang. Yes, that's that's literally exactly it. I'm just going around town, just trying going to look around, cool, just bopping, bopping along. Coffee. Going down yada, to the old, yada. going down to the old farmers market. You're picking uh-huh. up something at the farmers market. You get a, you get a uh, two dollar tomato, <laughs> two dollar tomato, a muffin, and uh, and a and then you go buy a firearm because you have to kill those uh, javelinas. I will say at Starbucks the other day, uh, the woman in the uh, cash register thing, she complimented my sunglasses. They have a pair of Kimoa sunglasses, yeah, which look exactly Finally. like these orange Timex that uh, we're discussing. Finally. Finally, you're getting somewhere with so your fashion So thank you to Fernando decisions. Alonso for endorsing Kimoa. Yeah. Kimoa, the brand of <laughs> Starbucks goers everywhere. I found, I found this, uh, since this is a visual medium, I found this uh, lighter Ooh. at the in to Austin. my friend said, Gilbert Morris. Friend Morris. Who's and Gilbert Morris? It's a Zippo, right? I do not know. If you look in the no, bottom. This is, a, this is actually... No, it's not a Zippo. Okay. It's a Matawan. <laughs> this is the guts, really? but it, the, it's busted. Huh. Yeah. It's, so it's called the Windy. Is that a lighter? Uh, you should be able to revive it's lighter that. lighter guts. There's not a lot to those. Uh, no, no. I'm going to get... I'm get I just got a new Matawan, like, in, in guts... Uh, just get so a fresh I'm just flint. gonna replace the put a fresh flint in it and call it a day. No, no, you got it needs a uh, it needs a what you call it? It needs a flint. It needs a wick. Actually, Pro doesn't need a wick. the The trick is, I think they put the wrong little dingus in here, so this doesn't fit. So if you can see, so this is this is the visual portion of the program. Sorry to so sorry you're for fiddling with the, that's so that's where the uh, the this, flint goes. This doesn't and fit, that, but this doesn't but this doesn't go all the way there. through. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is the part. All right. So regardless of regardless of the situation, is that like for purchase. cigars or no? It's you, just a, it's, it's just, just a, a windproof just lighter. Accessory. It's a windproof lighter. Before from the, before there were plastic disposable Gilbert bits, Morris or, this is what you used. Yeah. And the the shell around where the wick is next to the flint keeps it lit when there's wind. And the best thing is you can go like this. Oh, you do look cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I, really if I were impressed. in the if, if I were at the Starbucks, I can't do it properly. If I were at the Starbucks, I'd be like, the lady would be like, hey, la- hey, dude, where, where'd you get that beautiful lighter? And I'll say, from Gilbert Morris, Austin, Texas, my friend. At a, at a junk, <laughs> and Gilbert Morris. I got it. I got it from a junk shop in, in Austin, Texas, that's only open by appointment. And this wow. shop, this shop is not a place that would normally be open by appointment. I think it's only by open by appointment because the dude just doesn't want to go, go to the shop. It's full of, full of jazz and full of junk uh but the guy was really really friendly and i'm like yeah i'll just purchase a little i'll purchase this now i know it's impolite to ask but how much did you pay for this lighter this i paid twenty dollars for okay really and it's that's that's fine i think it's fine i i found i found a similar one online for like 59 i got a i got one that that's not the military so these these are popular in in military watches they had world war ii version of these that are like 59 bucks and almost up to 300 bucks but i found another one that has the guts for 12 bucks so i'm going to 
take the guts from that one, put it in this gotcha. one, put in some lighter fluid, and me and my friend Gilbert Morris are hitting the, hitting the streets. Right. For my friend Gilbert Morris. Actually, I could per- pretend to be Gilbert Morris, ultimately. Can you imagine having a friend that you love so much <laughs> that you're like... <laughs> to my you know friend. What? That's actually you know really... What? Do you know what, buddy? So I got something No, no, no. You. This was the guy. This was the guy who was always bumming a light off of everyone else, and they all got annoyed with him, so they pooled their money together and bought him a Matawan. Oh, I don't like that. That's not as sweet. No. No? I, I, want, I have in my mind the picture. It's just a friendly gesture. Hey, bud. Hey, Gilbert. Everyone likes you. Here's a cool lighter. Gilbert Morris. Have a nice day. You know what? There is – always there's a Christian novelist named Gilbert Morris. Is that him? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is I don't he know on how Twitter? old he is. <laughs> this oh William Gilbert Morris, uh, he died in Dallas, Texas. Could be him. Uh, maybe, maybe. What did he die of? Let's check it out. So he died maybe like it gets morbid lung, fast. Lung cancer. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. I don't want to. I don't want to waste people's time as we search <laughs> for Gilbert Morris. Uh, Gilbert Morris. Oh, this guy was born in 29 and he died in 2016. So he was a Christie Award winning Christian author. Hmm. Gilbert Morris. You know what? I betcha. Could be his. Ladies and gentlemen, who else <laughs> but a Christian author, a Christian friend, would be so kind and loving that he says, you know what I'm going to do for, for good old Gil? Mm-hmm. And this is probably, this is what put him, probably put him on the path of redemption. What I'm going to do for old Gil is I'm going to make him, I'm going to get him a windy Matawan, Matawan lighter, give it to him, and he's going to become well on his way to becoming a Christy Award winning author of, of Christian uh, erotica. So there you have it, friends. This has been the Our Time Podcast. I'm Gilbert Morris. <laughs> Victor Marks. And I am Nicholas DeLeon. And we will see you We'll be back next with week. more Christian Erotica next week. Thank you for listening to the Our Time Show, the official podcast of wristwatchreview.com. Feel free to email us at tips at wristwatchreview.com with your feedback and suggestions. And please be sure to visit wristwatchreview.com and wristwatchreview on Instagram for more fun watch content. Have a nice day.